Hi folks and welcome back to another video in my little mini series in which I have a look at all of the various versions of Football Manager 2020 that are available to buy and play. We've already had a look at FM Touch on PC. We've had a look at FM Mobile. We've obviously had a very, very in-depth look at the full fat Football Manager 2020 PC experience. And today is the turn of FM Touch on tablet. Specifically, I'm going to be playing on my... Um, this was an original iPad Pro, so it's certainly not a super new device. It's maybe two three years old now um, but it is an iPad Pro it's the big one as you can see bigger than my head um, but still runs the game apparently I don't know how well we're about to find that out um, if you are excited to see another one of these first look videos or just excited for the series to continue um, because we've still got the Switch version and the Stadia version to come if you want to see me make those videos too I need to see that people are enjoying all of them so make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on the video um, and if you are new just looking for content about this game make sure you subscribe to the channel turn notifications on I make daily football manager content here on the channel um, and maybe after you've watched this video go check out episode one of non-league to legend it's my big fm20 series and i think if you enjoy football manager you'll probably enjoy that but without further ado let's get stuck in to fm touch fm20 touch on ipad and rather helpfully it's got a what's new in fm20 touch button so we can see at a glance what the new stuff we've got is so the development center has made it across which we know because we've had a proper look around fm touch on pc already um it's got the new contract negotiations it's got club vision it's got improved graphics which i'll be interested to see because obviously running it on a reasonably old device um and it also has the golden generation and dream transfer unlockables which are unlockable via in-game achievements if i have remembered that correctly and um, one difference you'll see from this screen to the pc version and i've already had a couple of people mention this to me and um, there's no multiplayer on here which is a little bit disappointing you can still do career you can still do create a club you can still do all of the usual challenges and unlike on fm mobile they are all available from the start which I would kind of hope that was the case because this, I mean, the iPad version is 20 quid. It's not a cheap app every year. It's the most expensive app I buy. So I'm glad it's not filled with microtransactions. Um, but uh, there's no there's no multiplayer. If you want to play multiplayer FM Touch, it looks like you are going to need to be on the PC version. And I, I can't remember, was it in the Switch version last year? The Switch, we still don't have a release date on the Switch version, but as soon as we have it, I will obviously pick that up on the Switch and we'll look at that one as well. But it looks like at the moment, multiplayer is a PC thing. But let's start a new career. Um, should we do a different country? We've started all of these with Posh so far. Shall we? Should we go to Spain? Let's go to Spain. Who should we pick in Spain? Let's start with... Ooh, Villarreal. Do advanced setup and just have a little look. I have no idea what to expect from Villarreal. Um, as you can see, uh, because we are on tablet rather than on PC, we are limited to the number of divisions we can have loaded. So if you were playing FM Touch on PC, you could override this setting and have as many as you like, but it does have the limit of just three leagues on here. So let's load uh, France and Germany as well. Um, you do have the option of cross-saving this, syncing your save to the PC version as well. So if you want to be able to start a save on the iPad version, play a bit on FM Touch on PC, not full FM, but on FM Touch, on pc and move the save back and forth between the two you can it's a really cool solution for people who might be commuting and wanting to use their um, ipad while they're on the train or you know sat at work on the toilet but then want to still be able to sat, sit at their pc or sit there in front of the telly with their laptop rather than their ipad and play a more traditional fm experience it's quite a cool thing i did that a fair bit it must have been when I was at uni. That's a feature that's been in there for a while, I think. I think, don't quote me, but I think you used to be able to cross-save between the Vita version and PC, or it might have been the PSP version. Basically, if there's a version of Football Manager that's existed, I've probably owned it. I do tend to just get every version every year, even though I don't play any of them as religiously as I do the PC version. I just like to see what's going on with them and get an idea of... Um, of how they differ and 
it's always nice to have the option. Like, <laughs> I always get told off about it, but it's really cool on Christmas Day to have it on my mobile. When, when you sat there doing family stuff, it's quite cool to have the option to just have a few games of football. I'm really fun at parties, as you can imagine. Um, and FM Touch, it's nice to be able to sit there with my iPad, making it look like I'm important and busy, but actually I'm just playing football manager. It's really cool. So we've got the hiring screen, which is exactly the same as on the PC version, exactly the same as it is on Full Fat FM. Um, it's really quite nice being able to see the the version that we all know and love at this point off of the PC just on an iPad. It's on my iPad. It blows my mind every year. Um, and I'm also excited to see it appearing on the, on the Switch in a week, or, a week or two, I would suggest. They've not announced a date yet. I don't have any inside knowledge. Um, so we've got the Club Vision stuff, which is all in there. I'm not going to dwell too much. There you go. It's got the cross-sync thing at the bottom so I can save it um, and then turn on the cross-sync option so I can move it between my PC and back again. I'm not going to go into every single feature on here because like I say I've already done the FM Touch video that shows you how FM Touch runs as a game and it is the same version so if you want and if you want to see I don't know how tactics work on FM Touch go watch the FM Touch video that I've got on the channel what I'm really wanting to do is just have a look at the interface how that differs on touch screen uh, as opposed to on the PC and also just see how the match engine is running as well so um straight away this is the this is a difference of the interface because obviously we're on a smaller amount of screen real estate. I think we have full buttons on the PC version, don't we? I could be making that up and confusing it with full fat FM. Um, but on this version, we've got icons that we have to remember. Obviously, we've got all the all the different various inductions and things on here as well. But um, we've got the club vision lives there, um, which again, it's very similar to how it works on the full version of FM. And we've got Development Center, complete with B team, C team, youth candidates. It's all in there, which is really, really cool. Your big difference on uh, touch as opposed to the full version of the game is when it comes to your staff, you have much less flexibility over the staff that you hire, um, training, and also with tactics because there's no tactical familiarity on FM touch. Basically, you can pick a tactic and your team is already completely familiar with it. You don't have to train to that tactic. So it's much more pick up and play. So if we pick this 4-1-4-1 tiki-taka system, um, you can see there's no tactical familiarity option on there. Um, we can just quick pick it. Um, no squads, no uh, selection advice on here, unlike on the full version of the game. But we can quick pick that and literally go into a game. It's designed to be... Much quicker to get into, much quicker to get up and running. We have got the uh, the code of conduct stuff, which is cool. I might just sign a player. Should we try and sign? Have we got any money? Just to show you how transfers work on this version of the game. So can we sign? These are the only two players we've got scouted at the moment. So is he going to be cheap enough to sign? Let's try and make an offer for him. Obviously, <laughs> I haven't got the money for that. Um, can we sign you then? Um, where's make offer? We've got like 12, 12 million of budget, haven't we? Did it say? So let's do old school Kev antics. Take this down to, I don't like the fact the keyboard comes up there. That's horrible. Um, I mean, I understand why it does, but it's still horrible. Um, let's do three installments and, oh, it hasn't come up this time. It must have heard me. Oh, Kev didn't like the keyboard. Let's try and do that. We still can't afford that. Take us down. We're trying to get to the point where we can actually afford the transfer now so I can show you the contract negotiation stuff, which is the new stuff. Ah! I, I mean, I don't know why we're going after William Carvalho. We could, go for, we could go for someone that we could actually afford. But, oh, no, Kev wants to... Kev wants to pick someone who'd actually work in the team. I mean, to be fair, we could, we'll could we still get the contract negotiation stuff. We just won't end up signing him. So if we go into negotiations, look how quickly this is racing through everything. Gives me the option to go through the tutorial. Um, we've got the new, uh, the new names for the different ways of being in the squad. So key player is now star player, et cetera, et cetera, all the way 
going through there. And this is where you can add the variety of promises and things and negotiate for promises. This guy seems quite keen to sign for us, which is quite cool. But it, like on the full version of the game, it's got all the information you need on this one screen. It's really cool. We've got the scout report recommendation down there. Um, we can see the player interest. We've got the agent info. I really like the way contract negotiations have changed in FM20 in general. Um, and then we can adjust these bits and play around here a little bit. Can we actually afford... We're not even a bit able to afford to give him wages, are we? Villarreal don't have any money. Is that is that a thing? We need to get rid of this. Get away. Boom. There we go. We can't afford to buy him anyway, but... At least, at least we know we could have done if he'd have wanted to come. We're not going to do any of the inductions. What we are going to do, where is fixtures? Fixtures, fix. I don't know the icons because I don't use them on PC. We're about a week away from being able to play a game. So let's let's just hit continue a few times. It's always quite fun when we're doing a... Um, oh my word, there's a boost bank balance button. Ha <laughs> ha! So there are microtransactions. I mean, I know these have been in here before. You've got various things where you've got unlockables, which I think unlockables are things that you can actually unlock through achievements, I think. Shall I boost the bank balance? I've already paid 20 quid for the game. So tempting to do in non-league and then spending another 6.99 to boost the bank balance. I'm not going to do that. That's insane. Um, we'll delay that transfer for a week. But what I was saying is it's always quite nice when doing a... Um, there's a magic sponge as well. I mean, they're not being subtle about the uh, about the microtransactions, are they? I don't know how I feel about that. I don't like them. But then I guess what you have to factor into it... And it's someone, someone said on the FM mobile video that I was making excuses for, for Sega. I don't think I need to make excuses for them because... Obviously, they make great games where you all buy them all the time. And I can kind of understand why the microtransactions are there because those of us who play this game on PC that looks almost identical to this and is just slight, slightly slower to run but has more detail, but it's the the, the, the bulk of the work, like 90% of the work that goes into the full game is also going into this one. It's the same match engine. It's the same database. So the cost of producing this game is very similar to producing the one that costs £40 on PC. This only costs £20, so they need to make that extra money up from somewhere. That's what the microtransactions are for. FM Mobile only costs £9. Microtransactions top it up a little bit. I mean, and they're all optional. You don't have to do them. And I think it would spoil the game a little bit to do them, but each to their own, I guess. If you want a, if you want a really quick um, winning experience, then it's a good route to do that. But what I was saying is... It's nice to just turn the game on, hit continue a few times and show you how quickly you can get into actually playing some matches. We do have the instant result button on here as well. So you have the option just to hit that if you don't want to actually play the match. But obviously we want to see the match engine in action. So I'm not worried too much about the tactics or the uh, or any of that stuff, really. The quick pick. I just want to, I just want to see the match engine on FM20 Touch just to see what it looks like. Um, We've got a whole bunch of new gen faces on there, which are quite cool. Um, and we are in. I don't know if we're going to be 3D or 2D. I haven't set anything up yet. There you go. So this is the 3D match engine on iPad. Is it? I thought it was making noises. So this is a 3D match engine on iPad on FM Touch. So that, as I say, this is like a three-year-old iPad. Uh, but it's... Um, I mean, it's obviously not as polished and fancy looking as on the PC version. But, I mean... It runs fine. It You can certainly see what's going on. And it looks like we're about to score a goal, which is lovely stuff. There you go. Um, and I know some of you really do enjoy the 2D Classic, which I always shy away from on the, um, on the PC version. But certainly on iPad, I can see the benefits of having it set up 2D because although the, the 3D match engine is usable... It ain't pretty, is it, on, on the iPad? Whereas this has so much classic FM feel to it. And because it's just dots, the dots look as good as they ever did. And they're never going to be able to look better than this. And if you just want that that feel of... I always feel like FM20... FM Touch, sorry, is aimed at 
is aimed at like you, your new dads, where they spend all of their time at university. We we all did it. University is when you sometimes go to lectures, but you always have football manager on. That's what uni is, isn't it? Even when you're playing FIFA with your mates, you also got football manager on even if you're not at your pc you go to lectures you're leaving football manager on your pc it's there all the time and then you leave uni you go into the real world and suddenly you have a job and a girlfriend or a wife or kids or all this stuff that's eating into your time and you can't spend two thousand hours a year on football manager anymore and i think fm touch is a great little way to still get that fix because you can get into the matches quickly you can have it set. I don't know why I'm showing you the screen. You're looking at the screen all around me. But you can have it set up so it looks like your old game, but it's got some of the modern tweaks and touches like Club Vision, like the Development Centre. It's really quick to play and you can do it on your iPad. So even if you, the only time you get to play it is for 10 minutes in bed before you go to sleep at night and maybe when you're having your morning poo, it's you're at least getting a little bit and if you imagine trying to play the pc version for 10 minutes you've not even finished picking your team whereas on this i don't how long has this video been 15 minutes and we've already tried to buy a player had a look at our squad picked a tactic and we're halfway through our first game and that is the the beautiful thing about fm touch and it's why i will continue to buy it every year even though i sit I don't commute. My job is playing football manager in my garage. I have no reason to play this game. I play enough football manager, but I just like to check in with it each year and see how it's getting on. And I can already see it's getting on just fine. I'll be back next year, FM Touch, and I'll see you again in the next video on the channel. Obviously, if you are looking to check out all the versions on the try before you buy, you've still got the PC version of this to look at. You've got my first look at FM20. You've got FM Mobile. We've got Stadia and Switch coming. By all means, check them all out and choose the version that you think will fit you best. Or if you're just looking for some Football Manager entertainment, non needs Legend. It's where you need to be. It's the pinned video at the top of the channel. Go watch that. I'm pretty sure you won't be disappointed. But if you have enjoyed this video, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for me. Subscribe to the channel for daily Football Manager videos. And thank you very much for watching.